What's going on everybody? It's Jay Wilson with Northfin USA and I'm here to bring you a special collaboration. It's another Wednesday. It's another sub up of the week, but you're going to have to, well, you're not going to have to do anything because you've already seen the thumbnail. Enjoy it. I hope you have as much fun watching it as I had making it. Joel is an amazing person. Without further ado, let's get it popping internet. <laughs> Hey Jay, how you doing? Good to see you from so far away in the internet. Coming at you from my fish room to answer a couple of questions from you, my guy. And of course, maybe show you around my fish room. As you guys can see in the background, this is my 240. 240 gallons worth of aquarium. Fish. Nonsense. Rummy nose tetras. All sorts of other fish. But let's get to the questions that you sent me, which was the question number one. How did you start in fish keeping? How did you come about it? Good question, Jay. How did I come about in uh, fish keeping? Uh, I guess it all started when I was uh, a young, tiny child, and um, my family had dogs and stuff, so we would end up going to uh, the local... Uh, We'd go to the local pet store if we were going to buy dog stuff like dog shoes or dog food or whatever. Uh, and we would go out there and uh, they actually had some fish tanks there. Um, and I kind of got an idea that I really wanted a goldfish. And uh, over the years when I was a, a little tiny guy, we ended up getting Fred. Fred 1, Fred 2, Fred 3, Fred 4, Fred 5. It just kept going uh, on and on for a long time. Um, but then I also got into keeping turtles, reptiles, uh, along with, um, and then, uh, kind of stepping away from the aquarium game for a long time until, uh, I got much older and realized like, Hey, I've got some, uh, researching to do. I've got some stuff to learn about. And, um, that all had to do with, uh, getting back into aquariums, which is over a decade ago now. And, uh, as you can see, it's a full fledged hobby, constantly making YouTube videos, trying to help people out. Uh, spreading the uh, information about like planted aquariums and stuff like that and uh, so that's where it's at now that's how I started I just started as a little kid and uh, just kind of kept doing it and and uh, took a long break but ended up coming back to it and happy to be back what was what was question number two? Oh, how is the wet the weather is delightful my friend raining and uh, 40 degrees uh, question number two is one piece just one piece of information to an aquarium YouTuber, maybe some advice. What do you got? The piece of advice that I would give to any aquarium YouTuber, whether you're just a watcher or somebody who's making YouTube videos, either way, um, is probably the worst advice that I ever got. First of all, I will point that out to you. And I will say, uh, the advice that I got from the big YouTube community many years ago was consistently this. Make the best thing that you can. Which, to me, is a huge brush off. Um, so, if you, uh, if you want to take that advice, you can. But the advice that I would give to anybody out there is uh, take it one day at a time, one little bit at a time. Um, every project that you do is going to be these tiny incremental improvements over time and uh, so if I had a piece of advice I would say just get started uh, make a list of the things that you want to do and just slowly ever ever so surely just move through them a little tiny bit uh, at a time and eventually you could end up with something like a 240 gallon aquarium I for sure didn't just buy this out of pocket um, you know, I've slowly been building up to something like this, uh, or, you know, I've had this aquarium for about five years now, but getting to that point was building up uh, slowly but surely, uh, you know, going from a 20 gallon to a 40 gallon, then getting like a 100 gallon, then uh, making some other Craigslist deals, and uh, eventually trading my way up until I could actually afford to move into something like this. Plus, you know, building up the plants and substrate and all that stuff, uh, if you were to buy it all in one day, would be a giant price tag. But for me, I bu kind of built it up over a couple of years and got where I was going. So my piece of advice to anybody out there either watching YouTube or 
uh, trying to create on YouTube is just start working on it. It's a little tiny improvement every single time you get a little task done. Uh, and the next thing you know, you it's a couple years down the road and you're doing the stuff that you really wanted to do. It, uh, and that would apply to anything, not even fish, uh, not just fish or just YouTube or any of that kind of stuff. That would, uh, that's pretty much everything in life. You know, just if you want to run a marathon, you don't run the 26 miles just the first day you start out. Uh, the first day you start out, you probably run about a half mile and then realize, oh, I should probably reassess what I'm trying to do here. And then the next day you're going to end up running a half mile again and so on and so forth until eventually you're going to run that whole marathon. And this is a marathon for sure. Building ecosystems is a marathon. Moving on to question number four. But first, question three. Now you have done a lot of stuff in your fish keeping hobby career. You've morphed into this transcended amazing internet type guy that that is really good on live that does some amazing you know stuff on real fish talk you've just evolved into this really really great entertaining fish hobbyist where do you see yourself in five years and I and I know you've got plans and you've got your big board um, so I highly encourage folks to actually check out Corvus everything will be in the description you'll get a little boopity boopities up top but Corvus Five years from now, where do you see yourself? Where do I see myself in five years? Um, I guess this would this would uh, play back to what you were uh, what question two was is that I see myself in um, in five years continuing to run the marathon. Uh, I think I'm going to keep running the marathon. I think I'm going to keep being a part of. Uh, you know, constantly putting out uh, information or entertainment or whatever it is, uh, hopefully just in a better way. Uh, um, I don't have a clue what it's going to be like in five years considering how quickly uh, the evolution of everything goes, but um, I do hope to be operating a full aquaponic farm by then. Uh, if it's a five-year timeline, hopefully I'll be operating that. Um, but five years for me actually is a pretty long timeline and things can dramatically change pretty rapidly as far as uh, as far as that question goes. But where do I see myself? Uh, I don't know, wearing a big, um, probably wearing a big fedora and wandering about the countryside, probably. That's, that's probably about as uh, close as I could estimate. Like Kane, just on a walkabout. <laughs> um, but hopefully I'm still doing fish tanks. I'm still growing plants and that kind of stuff in five years and uh, hopefully healthy. Um, you know, uh, I guess this is a little bit of a personal note here. Hopefully we'll have, uh, hopefully Vicki and I'll have our first child by then and um, we'll have a little tyke running around and then be able to try and pass some information on to the next generation literally and not just... Uh, and not just out into the ether, if you know. Um, and uh, part number four. Now on with the fish room tour. Well, I'm not going to give you a full tour of my fish room because you can always check out tours uh, of my fish room on my aquarium channel. Um, but I am sharing with you the new 240 gallon rescape back here. Uh, so this this aquarium right here just got basically like redone. Uh, so it uh, actually is housing a couple hundred uh, of these rummy nose tetras back here. You kind of see them swimming back and forth. Right now they don't have any flow because I actually have this turned off um, because this system actually is making a little bit of noise right now. So it's hard to shoot a, uh, a video with kind of noise rattling around in the background. So um, it actually is turned off so they're all kind of mellow, kind of wondering what's happening, like what happened to the water. Uh, but uh, this tank is eight feet long by two feet tall by two feet deep. Uh, the substrate in here is a mishmash of pretty much any professional substrate you can think of, uh, from fluorite to uh, stratum uh, to ADA aqua soil. It's just a mishmash, and like I said earlier, um, all of the contents here have been built up over the years with the Dragonstone. The Mopani is actually all brand new. Um, we do have a lot of stargrass, uh, pogo stemmen, 
and a bunch of uh, like a big giant piece of bulbitis. Looks like I'm wearing it on my head in this video, but uh, I'm not going to give you a full tour because I have a bunch of uh, a bunch of tour videos. And uh, but I did want to share with Jay Wilson's audience here and Jay the new Aquascape, the new 240, um, which I think is pretty sufficient. But actually, I'll give you a quick tour because the uh, the lights just turned on on the reef. So let me uh, let me pop you over here real quick. This aquarium right here is the 180 gallon reef aquarium, which is a mixed reef. This is 100% my hobby tank. So I don't, um, there's not a ton of stuff in here. There's not a ton of aquascaping or anything like that going on because I just, I keep this tank as my hobby tank. Uh, this is just my fun tank to mess around in from time to time. We don't take it too seriously. It's not, um, there's nothing really crazy in here as far as corals or any of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, there's a dory in here, as most people refer to the, the blue tangs and the sow tang. Uh, they refer to them as dories these days. Uh, so there's just a lot of fish that I like to keep. It's a saltwater tank. And like I said, 180 gallons, just the first light just turned on. And uh, check out this mag flow right here, right? What? What up? <laughs> uh, thanks, Jay, for having me on today. Thanks for having me answer some questions. Um, what's the last part? How does it go? How? Right? Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this little collaboration with an amazing YouTuber. Every Wednesday, we're doing some awesome stuff with Sub Up of the Week. He really doesn't need the attention because he has a ton of it already on him from the amazing things he does from Real Fish Talk to his own channel and to the many things he does in relation with Aquarium Co-op. You can find everything in the description to include some amazing discount codes to some amazing retailers. And as always, thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, double tapping, just making this channel relevant. Blah, blah, blah. relevant. And if you stay till the end, you'll get a little bit of my Hawaiian pigeon for you on how to subscribe. But I like to take one second for you to just hit one subscribe button. Maybe hit the bell. Chee-hoo! You gonna get some sherry material, brah. You know what's next. Mahalo, brah.